welcome back to another episode of the Tree Talk Chat. Uh, this is episode number 41, and we hope that you all had a very good week and uh, that everything is going well. Uh, last week, we spoke to Gabrielle from Italy, and uh, that was a very insightful conversation. So uh, if you missed that episode, uh, check it out on any of your favorite podcast platforms. A um, bit of a store update. We had some really cool stuff coming in here from FTC. You can see it on the website. Uh, the Fiori's ring and some other cool things that they produce. So today we'll be speaking to our first uh, South American guest and to speak to Philippe Silveira. Uh, Philippe is an arborist and he's a member of the Husqvarna team down in Brazil. So um, he has some very interesting projects going on. So um, uh, if you have any questions for, for Philippe, you know, during uh, or, or us for that matter, during this conversation, uh, please leave them in the chat box and we'll take them at the end. So uh, there he is. Can you hear Hello. Him? Can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear you. There's a, there's a bit of an echo on your side. Yeah, it's uh, the room I, I, uh, I am, it's uh, a bit of echo here. Yeah, it must room. be in a big room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how, how's everything in Brazil? So, sorry? How is everything in Brazil? I know you're suffering hard from the COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now the, the things are getting a little bit harder. Uh, here in my state in Sao Paulo, they closed uh, almost everything. Uh, and we have a lockdown, lockdown uh, from the 8 uh, p.m. to 5 a.m. So you can go to the street the, at this time. Uh, but uh, on our business, we can uh, work because it's a kind of uh, emergency jobs, or so we keep keep working. Yeah, I, I read that you know the the hospitals are are on the verge of, of breakdown because there are so many patients. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually I, I didn't see uh, with my own eyes, but uh, it's what uh, is going to the. Uh, the, the news, so we need to to believe it. This so uh, people around me have got uh, have got uh, the COVID, so uh, we need to respect this the uh, disease, and uh, it's been a, a hard time for us. Yeah. Can you can you try to have the microphone a little closer to your mouth? Is it just better? So, is it better? Or, yeah, I think it's a little better. Yeah. yeah so uh, it's it's uh, act, I, I'm I'm not in my my office. I, I'm in a uh, 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 sorry yeah, in, 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 in your in your climbing area. I, I saw it on Instagram. It's it's quite a big location you have there. Yeah, it, it's a factory. Uh, we are developing the uh, a harness. And uh, I'm a, a little bit far, far from my my office, so I, I need to to stay here. And I know I, I didn't have my I don't have my uh, the, the the great place I, I would uh, like to be. Well, I think it's fine. So, you know, if you keep the mic like that, it's 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 perfect. I think. I mean, yeah. No, I I found the the the, the role. It's it's good now. That's perfect. So uh, you know, let's start with uh, our bit of a standard question. So. How did you end up in the arborist industry, and uh, you know what were you doing before that? Oh, it's a it's a great question. Uh, I I didn't start work um, in the arboriculture. I, I work at the uh, at the office. I I was a kind of. Uh, I worked with um, only papers to my tw twenty six years. For, uh, uh, 26 year, uh, years old to uh, I get this this age, and uh, I started uh, selling uh, service for the company. And uh, when I realized that I could do it for myself, uh, then I, I went to the market uh, uh, and and sell it for myself. And I realized, whoa, I can do it uh, for me. I don't need to work for. For the other ones, and uh, 
I only started, just started. I, I didn't know about um, arboriculture and I, I, I saw a, a video on YouTube and I, I, I saw that and I say, wow, this is amazing. I need to learn how to do this. Uh, and I started looking for a course and uh, it was um, 2011 and uh, it was really hard to find. I went to, to a course of, of, for uh, uh, industry, industry uh, climbing, not for arborists. And okay. uh, kind of, it did, was, didn't good for me, but uh, I could start. And after that, uh, a little bit, uh, one, years, one year later, later I, I found a course. Uh, but uh, I, I went to the course, but uh, I, I didn't have um, uh, where to buy the, the, the gear. Okay. So uh, I, it wasn't one of the reasons I, I learned to, to speak English. So, so I could talk to people uh, abroad so I could uh, buy my stuff. And uh, I, I brought it to, to Brazil. But uh, I, 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 I'm a, a, a off the off guy, not not. A, I didn't sign up as a tree guy. Okay, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so, so you've been doing this since uh, like 2011. 2011. Yeah, and and the course you participated in was that in Brazil? Oh uh, yes, it it was almost two, 2012. It okay. was a guy who had worked in, in, you know, in the United States and he brought the, the double rope technique. So uh, I, I believe that uh, at that time, Petzl was developing the zigzag the, and they was uh, selling the, the, the zigzag, but you yeah. couldn't buy it yet. Uh, and I, I remember that I said to, to the guy, oh, I saw something for Petzl that they are going to be a great uh, thing for, for us. And he said, no, no, we just use ropes and the slings. No, 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 no mechanical. No. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. And after that, Petzl uh, released the zigzag and uh, they, they recall it. I don't know if you rem remember it. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, you know, it was some, some cracks in the metal. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I had to, to wait until, uh, I, I, if I remember, it's uh, 2014 uh, to buy the, the zigzag. And uh, this is the, that, that's the story. And then yeah. you just keep it working. And, and then it was upgraded in 2019, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you also have some very great videos and photos. Is 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 that a hobby of yours? Oh, uh, if, if it was me who made the the the, the, the videos, is it the question? Yeah, the, vid Sorry. the videos and the photos and stuff you take. You know, they're, they're oh, uh, yeah, I I have a a friend who is a photo photographer, and yeah. uh, I pay I pay him to go with us to the the, the jobs. And um, he's a really, really great uh, uh, photographer. And uh, I, I really, I, I like to make videos too. But uh, uh, it's, it's hard if I, if I film it, I can't be in the video. So I need to to, to take my friend to, and uh, I, I, I every quote I made, I put his his uh, his payment so I can take uh, uh, at least a. Uh, twice or three times a, a month with, with us. Okay, so, so he, he, was your, he was your teacher, so to speak, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so how long have you been doing this? How long have you been interested in, in photography and uh, you know, filming videos and things? Oh, yeah, I started posting it on the Facebook uh, uh, since I, st I started working and when I realized that Facebook wasn't working for us, uh, I realized that uh, people wa was getting different, uh, was not the same, uh, only people uh, with, with uh, criticism about the trees here in Brazil and uh, uh, I said, no, I need to go to other place. And then I I went to Instagram. I, if I can remember, maybe in 2016, 
um, it was the first photo I, I, I post on there. Okay. And uh, since then, I, I, I was, uh, as soon as I possible, I, I post something. But now I, I, I'm more active, active on, the, on the Instagram um, because of... Uh, It's it's great for us. We we bring more people for uh, this kind of of job. Yeah, exactly. So you know you're you know this is nothing new to do because you have your own live show that you do sometimes. So, you know, can can you tell us a little bit about uh, what's going on there and what you're talking about? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm trying to make something uh, different. Um, besides it talking about trees, because uh, I, I consider that uh, our our job is uh, on neighbors uh, need to do a lot of things. He needs to to know how to fix her uh, his uh, machines and his gears. He needs to make a knots and needs to know about the, the tree. So uh, we need to keep our body in shape. And uh, I'm trying to, to bring um, people from uh, different uh, um, kind of jobs. So uh, next, next uh, Tuesday, we are gonna talk about um, uh, comp compost with uh, my friend. So be okay. be why? Because We need to cut the trees, um, and uh, we we can sell the the, the, the stuff. So uh, it, it's a good good way to make money. So we need to, to people need to know about it. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, what what do you feel that you know that has given you in terms of you know for for your uh, you know your professional life? Uh, you know the lives, the lives show. Huh? About the lives, what what yeah, is, yeah. is what, 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 what has it given you? Well, it it's uh, brings us a, a lot of more knowledge because um, since we are you are talking to someone who does something different, uh, it's a great time to learn something. And um, people that who even couldn't imagine uh, that it, it was possible. They um, yeah, start thinking. Wow, well, I'm I'm doing three services. I, I I can do it too. So sometimes we we can give them a start. Okay. So so uh, you know uh, you, you do some other things as well. So can you tell us a little bit about your company, Arb Lab? What what are you doing? Oh yes, nice. Um, first. We started uh, a company that uh, only do um, uh, landscaping and tree cutting. Okay. It's called Verde Com. It's got something like uh, green and commerce, is, uh, if we could translate it. So I, I started it, and I started uh, working with uh, big companies here in Brazil. And uh, a little bit for homeowners, working for homeowners. Till I stopped working for homeowners, uh, today we work only for big companies. Um, and then in 2019, uh, I said, "Hey, now I, I, I've got I've got uh, a, a little bit of free time, and I need to start." Uh, Uh, teaching people uh, how to do the same because we, uh, I realized that uh, the market is uh, really big. Uh, here in Brazil, it's not, um, uh, you know, people are not to use it to, to work in the, the, the right way. So there are a lot of uh, market for it. And uh, I said, well, let, let us start it. And uh, I opened the first class in 2019. If I could remember, it was in October or September. And uh, people came from around Brazil, and uh, it was amazing. And after that, uh, when I was um, 
planning the, the next class. Um, then the, uh, the COVID came and uh, everything changed. But um, uh, this year, uh, I, I decided to, to restart it. Okay. So, so uh, uh, in terms of, you know, the, the courses you sell, uh, you know, uh, can you tell us, you know, how many people are participating? Are you dividing this into, you know, several courses or, you know, how does it work? No, no, no. So, uh, so far, uh, it's a, only a kind of um, course for people who are beginning the, in the agriculture. We talk about the biology and uh, uh, where to, to make the, the cuts. And we talk a little bit about safety. They start climbing. They see the, the, the first uh, gears that they need to buy. Because the, uh, this was the, the, the biggest problem that, uh, that I have. Uh, I, I bought a lot of wrong uh, gears. So I, I spent a lot, a lot of money buying uh, trash. So I, I so, so far I have in, in one of my rooms the the shame box. Everything I, I bought wrong, and this, uh, I waste my money. They, they were there, are there. And the, when I see, I say, no, I was an idiot. So, then, <laughs> but uh, now people have the the chance to to know the, and, and touch the, the, the things that we really use for, for, for the work. And um, we talk about um, how to make a, a coat. And uh, it, it, I, I really like the cars. For me, it's amazing. I, I, say, uh, I used to say, I would like to have, a, have had a course like this when I was starting. Because uh, most, most of the times when you do a course, they teach you what to do. You need to do this, but how to do? Why? How to sell it? For who? How to code? So we, we need. We, we, you got the call, the, the the knowledge, but you don't know what you, what you need to do with with it. And uh, that's the the thing we are trying to do different. Um, uh, explain to people how to 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 do and why to do yeah. Yeah. the reasons we are doing this so i, I really love the, this this course we, we love it. so so you you love teaching as much as you love uh, climbing trees huh yeah it, it's a uh, quite uh, quite different uh from uh when you are working people sometimes they say to me oh i would like to work uh, for free for you only for the for the knowledge and I say, no, you are not going to learn anything. Because when we are working, we, we uh, are really concentrated on the, our job, and we just can't teach anything. So if you want to uh, learn, you come to the course. I'm going to uh, give you three days of mine, three days. And I do not um, answer my phone for three days. And I'm gonna. I will be here only for you. And um, uh, when people will have uh, six or uh, eight people on the trees who have never been there, it's really. Uh, <laughs> I, I got a little bit ex stressed. It's uh, it's really different from when you, you are there and you know what we are doing. So uh, it's different. It's different. Uh, it's different but I like it. I like it. Yeah. So, so how many people are typically participating in those courses? Uh, last, last course, it was four people. Four people. Four people. Uh, but next, the, the next one we uh, intend to have on April uh, are eleven. Okay. Uh, and we we, are, we we've got we we already got the the the, the class for me. Uh, we we are we are had uh, have uh, nine people, so things are going a little bit well for uh, for our course. Uh, do, do you manage all those people yourself, or do you have some? No, 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 no. We are three people, three guys, uh, three stru instructors. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, is is that something you plan to further develop? You know, this this training that you're doing.
Yeah, yes, for sure. We, we need to improve the, the, the course. But uh, we, we need to, to start with uh, the, the people with this uh, course for beginners and uh, as soon as we realize they are working with uh, trees, we're going to start a, a new course. Uh, maybe rigging, uh, maybe uh, we need to, to start a chainsaw operator cars, and um, but it, it's just the start, it's just the just beginning. Okay. So, uh, is, is, there, is there a big selection of companies that is selling, you know, the equipment in Brazil today? Um, companies are selling uh, three, three gear in Brazil, yeah. is it? If, yeah. Well, it, it, no, no, no. Um, it, it's hard to bring uh, the stuff for, for, to Brazil because uh, the tax are really uh, high. So uh, we we we've got one who started bringing the the stuff, and but the only one is really hard to to work, and uh, the harness. Um, we we need to have to have a um, cert uh, a number no or certificated to yeah. to work in Brazil, and uh, only we have we got only one harness. So I, I'm here in the in the this uh, factory. We are developing developing the the, the harness. Okay. And uh, I don't know maybe uh, thirty or forty days we are going to have a new. Harness for uh, the uh, Brazilian arbors. Oh, really? So, so you're developing your own harness? Mm, it's a kind of um, a company. I'm here in the uh, here uh, uh, Ultra Safe, and uh, I'm helping them to to make the, the the harness. It's not my my own. I'm I'm only helping them for free. Uh, I'm not I'm not. The, and uh, it's only a kind of for for the the, the, the agriculture, so for three guys, not uh, not not my my harness. Okay, okay. So so um, yeah. Whilst we're talking about education and and uh, you know training courses and stuff, you, you're also you know part of the uh, Hoops Corner team in Brazil. Yeah. So, so uh, are you are you teaching people how to handle chainsaws as well? Oh, I, I'm not in. in um, uh, let me start by the the beginning. I, I'm part of the hating of Brazil. Yeah. We are four guys now, and uh, I, I'm not teaching them to to use the chainsaw yet. But uh, we are planning to do to do this. Uh, one of the, the guys of the team, uh, he, he does this, so he's doing a kind of a part of a job, uh, teaching them to, to, to use the, the harness. Oh, look, uh, they, they just arrived here with the, the, the harness just <laughs> for us. <laughs> uh, that's Can it. We see it? <laughs> it's here. <laughs> mm. There it is. It's, yeah, yeah. I I can post it. Uh, the, uh, oh, that's a, that's a, the name, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. We are from Brazil. Oh, nice. Is it is it nice. comfortable? Yes, I, I, yes. I I I tried it, and uh, I really like it. Here's the bridge. They uh they 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 first gave me the. Um, uh, Today in the morning, the, the the belt it was white, and I told them, "Oh, it's gonna get uh, dirt." So they changed it to orange, and I okay. kind of really like it. And uh, here on the the back, the, yeah. it was only the this this belt, and now they put those kind of uh, something more comfortable. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. I believe it's amazing. It, it, it came just from the stove. The oven, so sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you, you, must, 
you you must be our first guest that is developing you know their their own harness i guess <laughs> yeah it, it it was amazing oh, oh, they they just uh, entering into the room and oh, look look they are really anxious for anxious for for the belt, the, the harness too amazing yeah. amazing so, so i i, I even forgot what I was talking about no so so uh, that's going to be certified according to the brazilian standards and laws right yeah you, you, we need to to certify the uh, the, the, belt, the the harness yet i'm going to take to my my house my to the work and i i going to try the the harness and then I, i'm going to tell them if uh, there is uh, if there are something to do more on the the, the, the harness but i i tried today in the morning it was wait but we need to climb trees with this and it's the, it was the second time I I I, I wear it, the, the the harness. So th then you can start mass production and start to sell it. When? Then you can start mass. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Then we can we can sell it. I, I, actually, I'm not going to sell. I'm I'm just try, uh, helping them. Uh, but. Um, I intending to to start selling the, the the three gears. Yeah, and then then you get some feedback from your customers, and then you can improve for sure. It and, yeah, very for nice. sure. Cool. For sure. So so uh, tell us a, a, some more about you know your Huspon engagement. How come you were became one of the uh, you know one of the team members? Oh yeah, it it was re really really nice. Um, the first uh, chainsaw I, I, I bought was uh, Husqvarna, and uh, when I was starting the the company, and I I had only one one chainsaw chainsaw. Okay. And I I, I don't know. I consider myself a real luck guy. And uh, the first job uh, I've got it in 2011 was a really big project. Uh, I, I consider it big too now. It, it was really big for a, a guy who have never worked with, with uh, Chainsaw, but uh, uh, young guys are really crazy and I was crazy. And uh, in the middle of the job, and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, in the middle of the job, the, the chainsaw broke because I uh, I didn't know how to to use it in the, in the correctly way, and I went to the Ruskvarna store, and when I arrived there, I, I I thought to myself, I said, oh no, they are gonna uh, take a lot of time to to give me it back, and uh when i arrived there i, I asked for uh, uh, the part that I had uh, broken yeah. and the guy said man i don't have uh this part and i said oh it is sad because when the uh w they don't have the uh, some parts of chinese sauce here in brazil yeah. they take a lot of time to bring you so uh, I thought, well, it was gonna, it's gonna take uh, maybe 30 days, 45 days. But he said to me, the 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 seller told me, man, I don't have the part, but I I got this chainsaw here, and I'm gonna pick up the part from the the, the saw I have, and I'm gonna uh, ask a part for me, and you can. Keep your working, and I said, "Man, I will never stop buying this 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 brand. I will never yeah, stop. Sure. I, I, even my my uh, yeah, it was amazing. And uh, since then, I started buying. Uh, I bought the zero turns for uh, for the, the guys who does the the landscaping, uh, the the poly saws." And everything from from Husqvarna, and uh, I I always posted on, on Instagram uh, hashtag Husqvarna, and I tagged Husqvarna on my posts. And uh, one day they called me, and they said, "Oh, they saw me, <laughs> they saw me." <laughs> and uh, so the the the, the, the other part is our oh, sorry, and we started talking, and they started the project in Brazil. And uh, it has been amazing to be part of this team. Uh, people, the guys from Husqvarna, Brazil, are really amazing, and uh, 
that's that's it. Cool. Very nice. So when we're talking about chainsaws, you know, uh, you, you, I suppose you know you're cutting in different trees as uh, what's happening around the world. You got a totally different fauna of trees. What trees are the most common ones in Brazil? Oh, yeah, yes, nice. Um, here where I live, uh, the, the for uh, it, it's a kind of weird, but the the, the most common trees we could are eucalyptus. Okay. Eucalyptus, yes, okay. because they planted it for uh, for the the, the wood, yeah, and uh, uh, yes, the the the, the old uh, factories they planted it on the, the their their yards, and uh, they grow and grow and grow and, and you know, nobody cut it down, and, and now they are starting giving us problems. And uh, it's the most common. It's a really hard uh, wood to to cut. And yeah. um, after that was uh, the ficus. Um, it is a, a soft wood, kind of to soft wood. No, not, it's not. Uh, we we could say uh, soft wood for uh, woods who, that are not uh, really hard to cut. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Well, actually, uh, that's it. But uh, it's most common. But you have a lot. You have a lot of palm trees as well, don't you? Sorry. You have a lot of palm trees as well, don't palm you? Palm trees. Yes, yes, yes. It's kind of uh, here. Actually, we we don't have uh, so much. Uh, maybe uh, people uh, abroad th have uh, a different way to think about Brazil. That is the actual way. Um, yeah. Yeah. When people say, oh, Brazil, they uh, think of football, uh, samba, and I don't know, something like that, uh, be uh, beats. And um, it's not it. <laughs> it's not it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I live... Uh, uh, 200 kilometers from the, the beach and uh, kind of uh, about football. Nobody uh, in my family uh, likes football. Nobody likes samba. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, di it's different from what maybe yeah, they, yeah. They, sh they show. Yeah. It's a, uh, where I live. It's a kind of a country uh, city. Uh, it's really calm. Uh, um, well, palm trees uh, only when people plant it. Um, it's it's uh, it's not too common to cut it. Uh, only clean, uh, cleaning for cleaning the leaves, and um, yeah. Well, you know, you you have uh, you have uh, you know one of the biggest rainforests in the world. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know they're they're you know the lungs of the world, I guess. In in Brazil, you know a lot of. <laughs> a yeah, lot of, uh, you know, uh, trees that grow very fast. Which is yeah, yeah, they grow very fast. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I've got uh, some friends from 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 there, and um, it's uh, it's weird, but the uh, close to the rainforest, uh, there's not too much job for us because we can't touch the the trees. So. <laughs> We need yeah. to go to the city, and so then you are going to have a lot of jobs. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, what kind of swords are you working on on your chainsaw? Is that like uh, 18, 28, 30 inches? Or? Mm, uh, actually, uh, it's uh, the biggest one we, we, we got here, it's 28. From Husqvarna. After that, you need to to ask someone to make for you. But the biggest one, it, it's kind of uh, we. I use it. Uh, I believe uh, once a month or even less than it. We use to. I, I really like to use the um, three three five three. The the, the model three five three. Uh, they, uh, they they just uh, brought for us, and I really love it. It's the the most uh, the uh, the one that wills the most. Uh, are you using Not, Anna, are you using the uh, the five forty XPI? You know the battery cell. Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It it was it. Uh, the, the in ten years, the the most amazing thing I put my hands on. 
I, I, I just loved it. Uh, um, before it, we used the T4, uh, 435. T forty five before before it, and now uh, it's uh, just in, in the, on the corner. I don't I don't use it anymore. Only the the battery saw. It's amazing, amazing. Yeah, I uh, yeah, that, that's what most people say that we're talking about uh, talking with. Uh. So, uh, um, what what do, what do you think is the best part of of your your job? What what do you like the most? What what I'm, I like the most is what we are doing right now. Uh, it's um, that we we do arborists do the an arborist does a lot of things. Uh, we we can uh, my 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 job is I, I sell I sell service. I go and uh, I do the, uh, I do the service uh, together with the guys, and uh, I'm the outside jobs. And uh, that's the best part. And the the, the brotherhood, it's a, it's great too. People here in Brazil uh, are getting really together um, to make it bigger. And uh, it's the the best part. I, I worked in the the office before, and I worked alone for almost ten years. And uh, every day was the same. Every day was the same. Papers and papers and the computers and coffee. Uh, it, so it's really, really nice to 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 be uh, on the field. Yeah, nice, nice. So, so uh, give us your give us your funniest job story. What is the funniest thing that happened on the job? Oh man, uh, every day something funny happened. Every day, so um, I, I, I actually would say that uh, the dangerous things that happen with us are, are the, the best part because uh, when you cross uh, the, the, the death in your front, so after that you keep laughing and say, "Man, we could have died." <laughs> it's the live in the live of non arborist. And uh, last week we had a, it's a close call, and uh, it was amazing <laughs> to, to cross it. And oh, nobody died. <laughs> and, uh, that's the best part for me. It's uh, really for uh, uh, tough, tough guys. Yeah, nice. So, so uh, what, in terms of equipment, you know, uh, what piece of equipment do you like the most? Which one is your your best gear? Uh, it, it, it's not the best, but I, I like the most is my zigzag. I, I really like it. Uh, I believe that it's a, something that Petzl made that is really amazing. It has a, it's a, a not good to good points and the, the good points and the bad points, but the, the most time I really like it. Um, if I could choose something, it would be my zigzag and uh, now the, the, the chicane. Yeah. And the, 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 the two together are, are really nice. And the saws, I I, I, I would say that will, would be the battery saws that it uh, they really changed the game because of it. It was really hard to start the the the, the chainsaw on the top of the tree, and now it's yeah. uh, there's not a problem anymore. And uh, now we can you can talk with your uh, partner on the ground, the, the ground yeah. guys, and the, it's just amazing. Yeah. Do you have some form of communication in your helmet? Uh, like Senas, like like this. We 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 use only um, uh, talks. I I don't know, I don't say how to say in English. Is it, but, is it, the, is it the tough talk or the ten R or fifty R? No, no, only the only the uh, simple radios uh, the, that we can talk. But only when we are wo working really uh, in the high high trees. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my my helmet uh, is here. Well, no, uh, simple muffins. Okay. Nothing, yeah. nothing okay. special. Only the on, only for big, 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 really big trees. We we use to to, mm -hmm. to use the, the 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 communicators. Okay. Okay. Nice. So uh, uh, I think we're getting closer to the end here. I'm not sure if we have any questions from the audience. Uh, we'll see uh, if there's uh, uh, no. 
No questions uh, from the audience. Uh, do you have any uh, questions for us? For us? I'm going to speak in Portuguese. I don't know. We we don't 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 have too much people, but um, maybe maybe they're oh. maybe they're shy. Yeah. O tá o Gabriel? O Gabriel? Você tá aí ainda, cara? Deixa eu ver se tá aqui. Tá. O oh, Cleiton, fala Cleiton, beleza? Manda um salve aí para gente. O oh, we we got uh, Clayton. He is a Brazilian guy who works in the United States. Okay. He is an arborist there, and he is doing a really great, great job uh, in the United States. Uh, he is watching the he is watching the the, the live. Okay. And uh, what what I would like to to say is the three guys are are, are getting really really uh, better here in Brazil. Husqvarna um, is um, investing a lot of uh, time and money on producing um, equipment for for arborists here here and uh, we we've never had a time like this in Brazil um, before it we, we, we need to bring uh, bring things from from uh, by ourselves and now things are really uh, easier for us yeah um, you know it's, it's, it's good to hear that you get good support from uh, from uh, a Swedish company. It's yes, yes, yes. They, 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 they have, are... You've never been to Sweden, have you? No, 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 no. no I've never, never. They are. Uh, it's a uh, Sweden people who work in a uh, kind of different from Brazil Brazilians. Uh, we w people here want everything for tomorrow. We need tomorrow, tomorrow. But uh, Sweden people said, "No, oh, we need to try it, and then we, we start doing it. It's good for us. It's good for us." Uh, and uh, I'm learning. I, I'm learning to to work uh, in this way. It's it's good for us. Good. You know, it was uh, it was very nice to have this conversation with you, uh, Philippe. Um, I hope you know the uh, COVID situation get much better in Brazil very quickly, so uh, life can go back to normal for for all of us. So uh, uh, it was a pleasure. Uh, thanks everybody that was watching. Uh, it's good to have you on. Um, check it out on your favorite platform. And again, uh, have a very nice weekend. And when that time comes to you, Philip, later today, uh, have a nice weekend and relax. And uh, it was good to see you. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for, for, for the live. Thank you. It's good to have you on. Thank you. Bye-bye.